in his booty! Not doing much damage either. Can I I can't. I, got, I can't double knock just yet. They're scanning for me. <laughs> Is there anything else I can take off? It's on the belly! Come on! Need more damage! Fire! Got her! Yeah! Didn't even need to use the fire arrows! <laughs> Hell yeah! Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. To hunt us off him. Boy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. What? That wasn't the lesson? These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. What? We're finished here. Follow. What did the tribe ever do for me? Time has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. Okay, I'll see you there. I'll see you at Mother's heart then. You will. And welcome back, everyone, to Horizon Zero Dawn. One thing I want to get out of the way real quick is information on the giveaway. For those of you who are new here, I am giving away a brand new copy of Horizon Zero Dawn. And there are only three requirements that need to be fulfilled on your end. Number one is to subscribe to the channel. And number two is to comment on at least three of the videos of this series and I will be picking a winner at the end of the series which is I want to say end of March perhaps it depends on how long the uh, the videos go probably March or April but yeah I uh, I do hope I do hope whoever wins enjoys a free copy of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn and with that out of the way, I hope you lot enjoy this video as well. We just killed a Sawtooth. And that was much more difficult the first time around. At least for me. But we did it. The Sawtooth is dead, and we learned an important lesson. That lesson is... Fuck the tribe. <laughs> we don't need them.
And they may need us, but we don't care. We're just trying to find answers as to why we're motherless. Oh wait, I have another skill point! <gasps> yeah, now I can double knock my, uh, my arrows. Hell yeah. Uh, let me go with... Probably healer and herbalist. Okay, so we killed the saber tooth, or saw tooth rather, and now we're making our way to the preving. We're gonna become a brave. This is going to be so much fun. Hiya, Ross! Anyway, we must speak. So, it's time. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? That old bag is still alive? <laughs> Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. How old is Aloy? 18? I'll have to look that up later. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. What? Here. Take this. To remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. Fuck the if tribe! long enough. Not until now I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. You're breaking a little girl's heart, Dad. This... This is goodbye. to have this then it will remind me of you of everything you did and how you helped prepare me for this day thank you heavier than it looks but the cord is strong may all mother bless you Aloy and I want all mother's blessing Way to rip out a girl's heart, Dad. <laughs> How could he do this? Today of all days. I have to keep.
keep my mind on the proofing. I should have went with good riddance. You will turn back outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Good God, Tirsa is still alive. Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Your guess is as good as mine, Aloy. Just follow the path, everything will be good. Everything's fine. Just keep following the path, Aloy. <gasps> Bonfire! It's nice to see you in such a loud place. Oh hey! Aloy! It's you! It's you, isn't it? Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. <gasps> Sweet! We have our own armor! There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. It's gonna be spear throwing? Sweet! I wanna throw a spear! Let me throw a spear, please. I want to throw a spear. Get down from there. Wait for me. You're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, Listen not supposed to go climbing. I want to throw a spear at the Karja and maybe the Nora too. Aloy, over here. Oh, hey, how's it going, buddy? Karst, what are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. 
Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Is that so? Well, goodbye. I don't need any more supplies. Always happy to take your shards. I'm not giving you any more shards, buddy. <laughs> What is going on here? In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. Israel. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace is peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Kill them! Luminance Kill them, Kill them all! Oh. Nor if faithful, hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. Raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology straight from the lips of the 14th king so please can't you lend him your ears i'm sorry man my ears are firmly attached to my head right, thank you <laughs> <laughs> an enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of sun king avad 14th luminance of the Raven what line. Someone's being oh, sus over there. On the eve of your proving. Hey buddy, you're being a little sus over here. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? Anora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Yeah, man, I'm not well, part of the tribe. I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> Hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Yeah, that's what I was Since talking to him about. His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. Why, thank you, sir. What else do you know about Owen? Well, is he really that interesting? Yes. I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. He sounds kind of dull. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? The Red Raids? I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? 
Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> Were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? Uh, kind of. I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. I'll consider it. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. I think I'd like that too. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as you were smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines... Well, they aren't telling. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a What is that crackling? Is that... Is, is that... Is that your jacket? My, are you wearing like a windbreaker? Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge. The it best is. Tinkers in the world. It is your jacket. When it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon. Stop with moving your arm, mate! North Please. Have roads and buildings tall as mountains, and across the valley stands the spire. Like a blade thrust into the sky, reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I can't... I want to ask you about something you said before. I can't listen That's to cool. his wind-breaking, crackling arm anymore. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. Hey, Lloyd. Right, if you ever visit Marie, I think he's Marie, hitting on you. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. 
Don't, anyway, I had don't, that don't give him any advances, eh, Louis? See you around, maybe? He's not senpai material. He's brother material. <laughs> we just brother zoned him. <laughs> Am I late? Am I late for the ceremony? Did I arrive on time? Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Oh, thank you, Tessa. You're so kind. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you, it's a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. What, do we just light a can of blaze and set it on fire? <laughs> In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. All mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. That's it, as soon as I win the proving, I'm out of here. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Olin! Where is he? Where, where, where is he? Olin! Get out of the way, get out of the way, I gotta speak to Olin. Olin! Hurry up, I only got a minute and 40 seconds remaining. Olin! Olin! Is he even up there? He's gotta be up there. Olin! You're not Olin! Oh wait. Olin's back that way! <laughs> I am... Fucking blind. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, peeps. I don't have enough time to go back and talk to Olin. But we'll, uh, we'll go talk to him in the next video. Uh, good luck on everyone who has entered the giveaway. And I hope you enjoy the, uh, the rest of the series. Cheers.